For years now, schools across the country have been giving their students laptops and iPads, but we found a school that's actually gone retro banning computers. Digital detox. You can <laughs> find this school, believe it or not, in Silicon Valley. Priya David Clemens visited this center of old school learning. Each one of these intersections should go through the center of the circle. As math teacher Bob Del Oliver writes on a chalkboard, students use actual paper and pencils. Algebra 1 textbook, okay. Spanish notebook. During recess, playing real games, not video games, and there's not a cell phone nor a laptop in sight. You've crossed out words and put new words in. Wouldn't this be easier to do on a word processor? It would. Um, as far as writing, I can write pretty fast. What's surprising is that these unwired kids come from the most wired of families. I've been in high technology in the uh, Silicon Valley area for 25 years or so. Kempton and Janice Azuno's kids attend the Waldorf School of the Peninsula in the heart of high tech country. There's plenty of time for them to learn uh, technology plenty of time. I don't think it has a place in, in the classroom. Just as you wouldn't let the uh, child use a power tool until they were trained on the power tool, that's, uh, there's a time and place for technology. Why don't you have computers in the classroom? A computer is a good tool. It's a fun toy. It can even be a tutor, but it's not a teacher. I found a baby wormy. Whoa! I found a worm too. Here, everything is hands-on instead of online. I do have my time with technology when I get home is just not in the classroom, and I like that. I really enjoy the fact that technology is something you use at home, and it is there to support what you're doing in your education, but it's not what your education is based on. Waldorf is bucking a national trend of schools going digital, like Wilbur Wright Middle School in Munster, Indiana. We feel like we are pioneers. Pioneers because every student has a laptop, Every library desk, a desktop. One reason, subjects like science can be constantly updated online. Here, the textbook just can't compete. Yes, correct, good. And in those textbooks, they're still reading the, about the fact that Pluto is a planet. So it's ironic that while middle America speeds up, some who live in Silicon Valley are taking it slow. Took a field trip to Google and we were going through their campus and it was funny because they're so high tech and we were learning about them, but at the same time we weren't using any of their stuff. They do use some stuff. Once classes wind down, Andina Zuno powers up. Using my phone to text and call and answering emails and doing my homework on my computer. <laughs> so if you have a choice, would you pick up a book or pick up an e-reader? Oh, pick up a book. The feeling of paper when you're reading it and being able to actually like underline and like, oh, I like this, I don't like this, is you can't do that with your Kindle thing. <laughs> so perhaps the classroom of the future may just be the classroom of the past. Priya David Clemens, CBS News, Mountain View, California.